Today is Thursday, Thursday October 20th, 2022. Today the weather will be sunny and cool. For lunch today, we will have pulled pork. Now it's time for the morning meeting. Happy Thursday. We have so much going on today. Don't forget about trunk or treat tonight from 5 to 6. Also, don't forget to wear your jerseys to team up against bullying on Friday. This week is National Anthony Anti-Bullying Week. Today we are going to learn about what bullying can look like and what to do when we see it. Ned is going to be an upstander to bullying in this video. Hi there, my name is Zed the Squarehead, and I know that there's a champion in every kid. Big kids, small kids, two-eyed, three-eyed, four-eyed kids, doesn't matter. There's definitely a champion in all kids, but sometimes we forget that. Sometimes a kid will try to feel cool or strong by choosing to be mean to those who are smaller or weaker than them. They might pick on people who can't do or say anything back. They might do it over and over too. Have you ever seen that happen? Well, that kind of behavior is called bullying, and it's not cool. But you can do something to stop bullying as it's happening. If you know a few tricks, then you can actually choose to stop the meanness right in its tracks. You can choose to stand up to bullying, and you can be an upstander. Pay close attention to this scene. Here's the playground, and here's the bully who's trying to feel cool by picking on this guy, Tar. Now here's a bystander. A bystander is someone that sees bullying happen and doesn't know what to do. And back here, we have Ned. Ned's going to start off a bystander, but when the bullying starts, he does know what to do. He's going to choose to be an upstander. Ned's going to stand up to bullying. And when he does, he chooses from four upstanding options. One, be a buddy. When Ned sees Tar getting bullied, he shows Tar that he has a friend. Bullies aren't used to their targets having a buddy. It could change everything. Two, interrupt. When the bullying starts, Ned finds a way to interrupt. Here, he interrupts by asking Tar to come and join him at the electro ball hoop. When Ned interrupts, he gives Tar a reason to walk away from the problem. Three, speak out. This one takes tons of courage. Here, Ned faces the person who is bullying and says, that's mean, don't do that. By speaking out about what is happening, it shows that meanness is not welcome. It also gets other people to look and they might join as upstanders too. Four, tell someone. Whether it's during the bullying or after it, Ned's going to choose to tell an adult about it. This is not tattling because he's not trying to get someone in trouble. He wants to keep someone safe. It takes courage and hard work to be an upstander. But by being an upstander, you'll be an awesome friend to someone when they need it most. And the letters in Ned's name can help. Never give up on helping your school to be safe. E, encourage others to be upstanders with you. D, do your best with all the upstanding ways that you can use to stop bullying at your school. If you know the N, E, and D in Ned's name, you'll probably choose to be upstanding whenever you see bullying. When bullying takes place, you'll make a champion choice to be a buddy or interrupt or speak out and also tell someone. If you do any mixture of those things when you see bullying happen, you'll go from being a bystander to being an upstander at your school. Good morning, Ospreys. My name is Miss Tori and I'm with our JPS PTA. I'm here today to tell you guys about our Feed the Monster competition and announce our winner. So first of all, we wanna say thank you to all of our students who brought in candy, 
for our Feed the Monsters because you guys outdid yourself this year. We had a total of 16,000 pieces of candy this year. Our trunk or treat is going to be so successful because of all of you guys supporting your school. So I'm coming in here today to announce our winner. Our winner this year of our Feed the Monster Truck or Treat candy competition is our kindergarten and pre-K hallway. They brought in a total of 7,480 pieces of candy. That is a whole lot of candy. So thank you, everybody, for bringing in candy, and we will see you all at Trunk or Treat. Bye. JPS Kids Soar Higher. Super problem solvers, outstanding writers, accomplished readers, ready for success. Now let's say our success equation. Hard work plus resiliency plus teamwork equals success. Have a great day!